All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Wa Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like, pushing out this purified truth to the rest of the church who believe as well. You men who may not be teachers or prophets, you women, sons, and daughters as well. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. So we're going to jump straight to the book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 18. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. So the Lord is reasonable and rational in his judgment. The Lord's not unfair. The Lord's not unequal. What we have to consider as a people, the reason why we're in our condition, the reason why we go through the things that we go through, the reason why we have to suffer and go through our burdens outside of being tested or whatnot is because of our sins. It's not because the Lord is unfair. He's fair. We made that covenant. We made that contract. So we have to be held accountable. But we're coming to the end of our punishment. That's the beauty of all this, man. Yeah, we've been getting our asses kicked, but we're coming to the end of our punishment. But the Lord is trying to be reasonable, you know, and he's showing you as much as he whips us, as much as he gets on us for when we do wrong, as much wickedness as we've done. Yahweh Bashami Yahweh is still going to clean us up. But that don't mean, you know, we should just take advantage of. In a wicked way, you got to take advantage in a righteous way. How do you do that? How do you take advantage in a righteous way? By being obedient. By doing what he asks. Okay. Come now and let us reason together. So the Lord is trying to be reasonable. And if you're reasonable, that makes you very rational in your judgment. You're not like someone who, you know, just goes with the moment you know you're angry in the moment so everything in your sight just gets destroyed that's the mentality of a female that's, that's a female's nature hence why you get to turn mother nature man you know the, the the weather here where i am in topeka it can literally be cold and that same day you walk out the door you can throw some shorts on man all right it's kind of like a woman's emotions it can be one way and then another hence the term mother nature Okay, also because you put seed within the earth, just like a mother would her husband. Long story short, though, the Lord is being reasonable with us, man. We got to turn back. We got to repent. We're at the end. You know, all you wicked Israelites out there, this ain't for you. But all you Israelites who are of the elect, if you're out there in your wickedness, the Lord is calling you to come back. Because he's about to... um bring a fierce judgment to this world man and you do not want to be a partaker in that so as the lord is being reasonable it will be reasonable for you just as the rest of us believers to get your mind right to get your act together man come now and let us reason together saith the lord though your sins be as scarlet so our sins are compared to basically blood man though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. And hence the word crimson is where you get the word crime from, which goes back to the word red. You've been caught red-handed. Esau's the red man. He's the man of crime. Commi committing adultery is like committing a crime. Committing adultery is like committing a crime. All right. So being a sinner is like being a criminal. But the Lord is trying to be reasonable and call us back. Deuteronomy chapter 12 and verse 28. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee. So this is the Lord being reasonable. The Lord don't want to just destroy Israel because, you know, he's just this, this uh, unreasonable, ruthless uh, tyrant who just sits on the throne. No. But nevertheless, just like anything, there's rules to be followed. And if those rules are to be broken, there are consequences. 
that nature comes from the Heavenly Father. Okay? Observe and hear all these words which I command thee. So these are commandments. These aren't, you know, well, if you feel like it. No, this is commanded of us. That it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God. So we have to observe and do the things that are commanded of us that are in this book. That it may go well with us. So each time that we come back, because reincarnation is in the scriptures. And if you haven't heard that before, you've hearing, you're hearing it now. But that's not what this lesson is about. But when you come back, okay, the Lord will have mercy on you if you're of the elect to give you that same spirit to be obedient once again. We have to do well so that it goes well with us and us coming back in the future over and over again. So the elect are going to come back, the elect, just as the rebellious Israelites are going to come back rebellious okay because you are your children and your children's children for those who you've um come back to be that is all right observe and hear all these words which i command thee that it may go well with thee and with thy children so and with thy children after thee forever but even with your actual children and your children's children or whatnot Yahweh by Shem Yahushai can also have mercy upon your children because of you. And, and the example of that is going back to the time of Noah. Noah and his household was delivered. They weren't delivered because they necessarily believed. His sons weren't necessarily out there helping him build the ark. If anything, his family was looking at him like, man, his dad's tripping. You know, you got to imagine how his wife was thinking. But nevertheless, she did stay uh, stay with him. She didn't leave him. Like you women today, man, y'all just leave men over the, the stupidest shit, man. But long story short, the elector is Noah. Your whole household can be saved because of you, if that's what the Lord uh, has in his will to do. But we have to obey so that things go well with us in our houses, so that things go well with us. And then we come back in an incarnation like here we are again today. If we are those men, we had to have done well at some time in our past lives as well. Because here we are as our children, our own children's children. <laughs> if that makes sense, if you're able to um, receive it, things are going well with us. Why? Because we have the truth. Let's go to Jeremiah 25. Verse 5, they said, turn ye again now everyone from his evil way and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that the Lord hath given you, have given unto you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and I will do you no hurt. So the Lord is being reasonable. He already told us, okay, when you go back to Deuteronomy, if we observe the commandments, things will go well with us, which would mean what? If we don't observe to keep his commandments, if we don't do what he's asked of us, things will not go well with us. How is that not reasonable? Just like a person, if you staying with somebody and they tell you, look, you want to stay here, I'm going to need $200 a month. And I'm going to also need you to pay the electric bill. And if you agree, okay, contract's done. You made a contract verbally. That's a verbal contract. So if you come to a point where you're not keeping up on your end of the bargain, and it's determined that, look, if you can't keep your end of the bargain, you're going to be kicked out and you get kicked out, how are you going to be mad? That was a part of the, the deal, okay? So the same with the Lord, man. He gave us the way to go. And if we go against that, things don't go well for us. And that's why here today in 2022, our people are getting judged left and right, man. Hit with haymakers and, and, and all the above. 
Jeremiah 25 and 6, and go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and I will do you no hurt. So the Lord is basically saying, look, man, I don't, I don't want to put you to death, but I will. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. Just do what I asked of you. If you want things to go well with you, it's that simple. Verse seven, yet ye hearkened, yet ye have not hearkened unto me, saith the Lord, that ye might provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own hurt. So to go against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is self-destruction. That's stupid as hell. It reminds me of that old rap song, self-destruction, you're headed towards self-destruction. I can't remember who made that song. It might have been, uh, it might have been KRS-One, you know? This is the, uh, this is the book of, where is that at? Isaiah. Let me try Ezekiel. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his way. So the Lord is being reasonable. He judges all of us according to our way. So we can't be angry too much seeing that, hey, you want things to go better for you, but yet you keep sinning against the Lord willfully. You don't care. It doesn't offend you. And then when you get jacked up, you feel all, you know, uneasy. Well, come on, man. The Lord is judging you. As a matter of fact, let me jump back to verse 29. Ezekiel 18 and 29. Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. So the Lord is equal. The Lord is fair. The Lord is rational in judgment. The Lord is reasonable. Okay. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so iniquity shall not be a ruin. So the Lord has given you the key to survival. He's giving us the key to survival. If we want things to go well with us, we have to serve our power. We have to obey. Things will go well with you. Okay. Verse 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die, O house of Israel? The Lord is asking you, why die? I don't want to kill you. The Lord ain't finding pleasure in putting you Israelites to death. But it's like, damn, you leave him no choice. You're doing what he don't like. So if you're doing what he don't like, you're basically forcing his hands to judge you. And that's why the prophets, the men of the Lord, have been sent to warn for our people to wake up out of that state of mind who are of the elect to turn back to the power because the Lord is about to get busy the lord is about to bring a destruction to this world that your mind has never imagined or fathomed okay and that's actual factual it ain't dramatics okay i'm not dramatizing anything if anything it's an understatement all right verse 32 for i have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth saith the lord power Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. And we understand only the elect are going to repent. So ultimately, the Lord doesn't have pleasure in killing his people, starting with the elect. But the elect right now are the only ones that are going to repent. So you wicked Israelites who want to stay in your wickedness, you think what you're doing is the way to go. You're showing that you are a complete idiot. 1 Timothy 6 and 4. He is proud, knoweth nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil 
surmisings. Okay? So, these scoffers, they don't know any damn thing. Okay? All these scoffers, they're proud. They don't know a damn thing. They're constantly sinning against the Lord. And then, as proud as they act, they can't even consider why they're suffering this disease. Or why they're going through this. Or why they're going through that. Why they can't hold on to a marriage. Why their children are rebellious and getting gunned down. Getting locked up in prison. Okay? They can't understand why their family's so broken up. Why the brother is, is, is lurking after the other brother's wife. Lurking after the other brother's lifestyle and wickedness. Plotting. Stuck in the ghetto. Stuck in the, in the project. Stuck in the hood. Stuck in the reservations, man. Because our people are proud and don't know a goddamn thing. And they don't want to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why the elect are going to be the ones to be delivered. The elect man, woman, son, and daughter. All right? Period, point blank. So, the Lord is reasonable. The Lord is asking for our people to repent and turn back. But if our people don't want to do that... They're just going to have to die. They're just going to have to die, man. There's a scripture that's coming to mind. I can't remember where it is. Let me see. Is it Proverbs? Let me try to type something in right quick. That's not it. Basically, um goes into any of our people hardening their neck to this truth, they're going to die, man. Man, what scripture is that? Oh, well, it's not, it's not coming to me right now. But, um, you know, anyone who disobeys, basically, they're going to be put to death, man. And we're trying to warn our people so they don't have to go through that process. I don't have pleasure in seeing my people get put to death but I, I also another part of me does have a pleasure in seeing wicked israelites get put to death for their wickedness and rebellion against the lord it's not a pleasure that i have in general but i hate those who hate the lord man i hate those who's been given opportunity to get their act right and they still want to be wicked and evil and and not consider their ways but ultimately, I want to. I would rather all Israel repent, but that's not the case right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this lesson right there, man. The Lord is is very, very reasonable. So you know, obeying Him would make things go well with you. That's how things go well with us, man. Is obeying our power, seeing that we're the ones who sin, we're the ones who went off, we're the ones constantly going off. Okay, so you can't be, you know, blaming your how about show me I was shy. That our people are in this condition seeing that we we basically ruined ourselves. Alright? But only a proud Israelite through their wickedness would act like they know it all and keep prolonging in their wickedness till the Lord come and just take their life away. So with that, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.